Hello guys, Jagveer here, back with another video of SolidWorks 2018. And today I will teach you how to use linear pattern and circular pattern in SolidWorks. So let's get started. So for this particular video, I will be using the last part that we made as a solid using the Revolve Boss Base feature in SolidWorks and also the very first part that we made which was basically a pretty simple part one in video one and I will use this particular part in order to show you how to use linear feature or linear pattern and this one I will use in order to show how to use circular pattern so for circular pattern, first I need a feature which I will circular pattern about this particular solid. So in this case, I might be thinking to make a small circle on this solid. So I click on the surface, I go to sketch, control 8, and here I will make a small circle and dimension it anywhere and anything let's say 20 and I can dimension it from the origin to the center point as 130 also I need to make sure that it is vertical so control center point and the origin and click vertical click OK and there we go, it's fully de defined now. We go to Features, Extrude Cut. So by default it's 10 millimeters. that's OK. Click OK. So now we have a feature that we can circular pattern about the axis that we already existed from the last part that we had. So if you forget how to make an axis, I can tell you, you go to Reference, you click on Axis, and then all you need to do is click on two planes and choose both the planes which was front plane and right plane and you click OK you can see in yellow the axis is highlighted but we already have an axis from the previous video so we will use the same axis so in this case let's see so circular pattern is just under the following options the linear pattern, you click on circular pattern, you can see the shape. It needs an axis in the middle and feature at the boundary conditions. So in this case, it's asking for direction one. The direction in our case is going to be the axis around which we want our feature be revolved about. So let's click on axis one. So now we have specified the axis. So now we need to click on features or faces. And the feature we have either we can choose or like select manually or we can click under the tree that we want to. When we click on the tree, so now we can see that by default it was selected four. We can change them by any number that we are looking for specifically and make sure Sometimes standard by default is set instant instant spacing. So if you want to use instant spacing, you have to do some calculations and this is how it works. So let's say I want 10 circles around the entire disk. So I will enter 10. And here I know that one complete revolution is 360 degrees. So I enter 360 divided by 10. And this will be equal space, or you simply just click on equal space and SolidWorks will do it for you. So this is a great feature to have. Then you click OK, and there you go. This is how solid, sorry, uh, circular pattern works. So similarly, I will show you how linear pattern work on this particular part that we have from the previous video. So in this case, I will do the same thing. I will make a sketch, a small circle anywhere on the top and show you how linear pattern works and is how slightly different from okay. So 
so how it's slightly different from circular pattern itself so I dimension it randomly I put 10 let's say and then I exit out then I go to feature extrude cut I select the surface by default is 10 millimeter that's okay click OK then you so now in linear pattern let's see what are the conditions so in linear pattern unlike circular pattern there it is asking for two directions direction one and direction two so why is it so the reason behind this is that we are looking for making move of this particular feature about two directions which is this edge and about this edge so what it mean is let me show you with an example so let's say I want this circle to be there on all the four edges of this particular block on the top so for the same I will choose my first direction to be this edge because I want this circle to be propagating here and also I want the second direction to be this edge you can zoom in click on the edge precisely so now you have specified two edges and now it's asking for the feature the feature is going to be the last hole that you made which is extrude so now there you go so how it works is you are specifying the two direction along which your circular or any feature you want to propagate through a particular direction so you you also need to take into consideration the direction of arrows if the direction of arrow is reversed your circular pat your linear pattern will work in the same direction so in this case I reverse the arrow so it moves from right hand side to left hand side similarly if I move this so yet we, we don't have any feature shown right here so if I increase the number of pattern in along the direction 2 so now I can see and if I click on the arrow it will reverse the direction itself so we we want to make sure that it is on the right side here and similarly we click on the arrow there we go and then we can definitely adjust the values accordingly whatever looks good to us and the number of features that we are looking for so you can always increase the number or you can it's all up to you whatever pattern you're looking for you can reduce the distance you can also increase or decrease the number of holes that you are looking to make so it's all up to personal preferences so in this case I just want to keep one simple four holes along the slot so I'll click OK and there we go so this is how you can see linear and circular pattern work thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and also go visit the previous videos in which I made this part and the circular part itself thank you and take care